We are in the Acer Team Story Cup, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Rifkin, joined today by Doom Esports, and you're watching Base Trade TV. As you can see displayed here clearly in the top right corner, it is one to one. Both teams have tied it up at this point. And coming out for Mouse to avenge his fallen brother, it is the Blue Terran in the upper right corner of the map, Lucifron. And his opponent bringing his team back to 1 1 in this series from Axiom Esports. In the red trunks, the Protoss player, Alicia. Man, I know there's a lot of people who will disagree with me with this, and that's fine. We can all have our own opinions. But I do think Lucifron is probably one of the better, if not the best, players that Mouse has to offer. Sending him out early provides two giant benefits. One, hey, he's got a chance to kill everybody. <laughs> if he does, great. But the other is if he gets knocked out early, they can always resurrect him for that ace match spot if necessary. But again, it's not like Axiom has these very predictable players who can just simply say, oh, I'll counter them with this one person. The entire uh, the entire Axiom lineup, the entire Mouse lineup, these are all amazing players. Like, these are all players you would expect to see in the finals of, like, your, your average tournament, right? There's no bad choice for either team. So it's very hard to decide, like, all right, Loose Round will just knock out two or three of the scrubs. No, that's not going to be the case at all. He's going to have to fight tooth and nail to take down Alicia, as well as whoever comes out after. And it just as just as important as the person in front of you is the people that have come after. But I wouldn't be shocked to see Lucifron completely focused on the tax at hand here against Alicia. Alicia is a very creative uh, Protoss player, especially in the PvT matchup. I remember watching this guy in the GSL doing uh, Void Ray builds, Void Ray proxy Stargate, Void Ray rushes onto Terrans, uh, sneaking in their back door, using the Void Rays to distract as he moves up the front with gateway units. And uh, this map seems like it, it could be a pretty opportune situation for him to do something with uh, with Blink Stalkers. I feel like it's a, it's a, gr a lot of places where you can blink into the main base of the Terran player, <laughs> uh, keep them on their toes around, these various you know, ramps that are going around around the field, but... Oh, Doom, while we're waiting for this to start, we actually have a reaper opening, guys. We'll keep an eye on that in a second, but um, Phoenix X Starcraft is the creator of this map, guys. You'll often see him hanging out in the base trade TV chat. He told me about some secret Easter eggs on the map. And if you want to put your camera on me for a sec, Doom, I'll show you. There's two of them. I haven't found the third, but there are three Pandarian Brewmaster barrels hidden on this map. One is hidden over here in the trees, and one is over here in the lower right corner of the map. And I, I urge you guys if to, to go and find the third one and let me know, because I haven't been able to find it. It's driving me nuts. But Reaper now getting into the main base of Alicia. Fortunately, uh, uh, unfortunately for him, but fortunately for Alicia, the Mothership Core is out, so not a lot of damage can really get done. But keeping this alive, scouting consistently is going to be key. Knowing what comes down for tech paths, seeing a Twilight Cancel versus a Stargate is a huge deal. And now I'm going to be looking for that other barrel the entire game, Rifkin. What have you done? I know. Blame Phoenix, dude. He should never have told me about this. <laughs> but uh, he told me on all the maps he does. So, like, he did um, Graveside for the Team Liquid Map Making Competition, for example. He did Zephyr Jungle. He's, uh... He, apparently, he hides them on every map. So now I'm going to be looking for them every time I know that he makes a map, we, we guess. But uh, Reaper going to be chased out of the base. Doesn't get a lot killed, but again, keeping this alive. The scouting information, so much more important than going for probe kills. And definitely want to get in to see the fact that this Twilight Council is going down the back of the base. So uh, Blink looking even better at this point. Uh, Alicia doesn't necessarily have enough gas to, to go for DTs, I don't think. Um, so I wouldn't be shocked to see him going for that research in just a moment as soon as this finishes up. Yeah, it's There Blink. we go. All right. So to expand on... Yeah, to expand on what you were talking about earlier, Blink, I feel, is good on any map, but it's great on some, and Yansu, as you stated, is one of the maps that's particularly great for. There's just so many different ways to get in, and some players forget, or not some players, some casual viewers forget, you can blink up two levels of cliffs, not just one, so come in from literally any angle and perhaps catch loose front off guard. Whether he turns this into an all-in or just some blink aggression, we'll have to wait and see. It depends how many gateways come down. And this Reaper may get pinned in the back of the base here for Lucifron, but once again, got great control. Oh, he'll see, we'll the, see the Twilight Council. Awesome. He sees the Kronos on it too, which is even more important, which means he now knows Blink is certainly on the way. But oh, this Reaper. Blink. Keep that Reaper alive. Ah! Good try. And it's going to get out. Nice. Wow. All right, but there's four extra gateways coming down. I know he saw at least one of them. How many did he see? No, he actually saw none of them. My bad. So, saw the Twilight Council, knows that this blink attack is going to be coming, and uh, we see the factory rushing out, because, of course, it's not a third barracks you need. It's it's not a starport for Banshees or anything. You need those medevacs to really hold this off. Stim is so close to being done, Doom, but so Reaper's far back. off. Yeah, and the Reaper's back. He wants to see what's going on here. He's actually getting a couple of probe kills, which is pretty important at this point in the game. 
And moving forward even through the bitter line, disrupting the income of Alicia here, taking down more and more uh, more and more probes. Is he prepared to defend back at home though, Rifkin? He's got all of his units down in the natural, and Alicia's pressing forward with these blink stalkers. They're well, just they're not about blink to have blink. Yeah, they're not blink quite yet, but four stalkers is more than enough to maneuver around, pick off SCVs. He knows what's going on though. But yeah, the pilot completes. Was the pilot complete? He sees the extra four gateways with that Reaper, who's still alive by one health. Gets taken out, but he saw all four of those gateways. And now Alicia in the main bunkers are coming out. Starport is rushing out with that reactor. He knows how desperately he needs medevacs. SCVs are already pre pulled. And once, if he kills the mothership core, he takes away so much from this aggression. But there's the blink. Well, the vision not going to be enough here for Alicia as he's forced to bring the uh, mothership core back. Still keeping it alive, though. Great control out of Alicia with those units. Yeah, so far actually both players trading pretty decently, but unfortunately for Lucifron, he'd love to stim, but half of his units are already almost dead, and if he does, it's going to cost them their lives, and the bunker is going to be under some heavy fire, but SCVs are not enough. Oh, those medevacs are going to be out here soon, but Doom, will it be close soon enough? He's so close to getting them in play. Time ropes are too good in this situation. The stim wasn't done in enough time to try to against us. If he had taken down the Mother Corps, this would have completely halted the pressure. But as it stands here, Alicia taking down SEVs. Will he actually get the command center in addition to this? It's going to be burning. It's going to go down for sure. There's no way to repair this in time. And that that right there hurts Lucifron so very much. The bunker's up, but is it? I don't think that's going to be enough. There's too many stock. You see, the Mothership Corps just barely gets taken out, but it doesn't matter. He's already got the high ground dominance. Forget the vision. And while the medevacs are coming out, there's nothing for them to heal. These SCVs are going to have to be pulled, but never mind. Good game is called, and Lucifron will go down. Actually, I'm getting a quick 2-1. Well, you know, as I said before, Alicia, known for these early aggressive style builds, especially in the TBP matchup, and maybe taking a, a, a page out of Duck Duck's book there, that was, he pretty pretty much showed the blueprint on how to beat Terran this weekend, and that it's, was pretty much to a T, that Blink Stalker 5 get all in. It's the really boss. unfortunate, too, because, I mean, Lucifer scouted that he saw it was coming. He had full yeah. knowledge of this, but even if you know it's coming, sometimes that's not enough. I mean, when you're in that situation, if you hold, you pretty much win the game. But Lucifer couldn't hold in the end, and that's what kind of sucked. But uh, big it's question. Tough. Oh, well, I was going to say, big question. Who does Mouse send out next? Alicia just took down what is one of the better players on the team, in my opinion. It can't be easy to decide who follows that up. But guys. Well, maybe for Mouse Sports, it'll be Mana who will be coming out. That'd be my prediction. Some PvP would be cool. We'll see if Doom's right. We'll let you know in chat, of course, because we're on delay. But guys, we're going to run to ads. So wave my arms like a crazy man. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> We'll be back in a sec.